Okay, uh, good afternoon. It is a pleasure to meet you all and thank you for the opportunity to share our thoughts today. Uh, I am Rizvi Hassan as I have uh, architect Saad bin Mustafa with me as my teammate. We have been working in Cox's Bazar since uh, 2018 and uh, have, had top, uh, have had the opportunities to closely observe and engage with refugees as well as local host communities to design and build uh, social spaces. Uh, now we are working with Oxfam to design uh, some multi-purpose human-friendly spaces in Ukia, Waikang and uh, Cox's Bazar. We follow a very uh, particular process uh, while we design uh, uh, just to uh, make sure that uh, the community uh, people can participate in the uh, architectural design process and uh, the construction techniques and uh, the whole event. Uh, uh, where they can uh, uh, build their ownership uh, along with the project and uh, uh, at the end of the day uh, they feel that uh, this is something they have uh, they have uh, participated in and uh, this uh, th whole thing belongs to them so uh, first and foremost we try to understand the place by visiting the site and surrounding Context, culture, environment, resources, biodiversity, and any other clue that can add to the decisions we take while we design. Uh, the process is quite simple. You go with an open mind and uh, observe the possibilities. Uh, it uh, gives us uh, uh, the first impressions or understanding of the land and and people of the target area. Uh, other um, often uh, there is chance of getting like no genuine information in uh, in short time or short engagement or where many NGOs have been working. Observation and analysis of surrounding and casual conservation of people can like give hints and it's also possible to like pick up design references from local building practices. In the second layer is to reach out the probable users uh, and have a good conversation. What is the purpose and what can be achieved together and uh, what the user's roles can be? These are the basic points that we discuss. The aim is to let them have their responsibilities of the place they are going to have or use to create the sense of a like community work. This process in general tries to make them uh, responsible and aware of their works. Well, it also helps us to understand the basic needs and strengths of the community that further helps in designing the environment and uh, structure. We try to understand local techniques and materials as well, uh, which will influence the community and possibility, uh, possibly give us the hint how it can create a better example of building technique in the particular locality. As a good building or place has the power to influence the community growth in a very positive way. Collaborating in all the ideas and forces may result in something uh, unusual or special rather than conventional practices that, that addresses issues related to human and non-human beings. For example, in the Waikang MPWC uh, Center, uh, the site has uh, particular trees and biodiversities and uh, so we decided to make these components as a part of the design component rather than uh, getting rid of them and uh, building something very conventional. So our spaces, our design spaces uh, uh, surround our, uh, surrounds these components and evolves through uh, some very unique forces. And finally, keeping in touch with the users when the design is developed, uh, receiving their feedback and observations is very important uh, because different ages, different genders and different groups have different perspectives and uh, when we are trying to reach them out as well, uh, uh, they 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 can feel uh, sort a, a, a bit connected or a bit part of the whole process and uh, and uh, 
provide their observations as a part of a team or or, or as a part of the community so as it is a uh, it is a work for them it is a work of the whole neighborhood uh, they should be know they should be knowing what is going on and what is happening and uh, th- uh, what is their say on it we have been working in previous projects and with different organizations and the results have been different uh, than conventional practices in the construction field the results are i'll say more human and livable probably sensible towards nature and surrounding we face some challenges as well while working uh, in this context contextuality is something that cannot and shouldn't be avoided while working with the community sometimes we have time constraints resource constraints and lack of understanding but listening can be a, a very good key to balancing both rules and uh, sensibility in this process the design cannot be a prototype every site has unique needs in terms of ecological issue preservation of topography etc prototype designs without site specific considerations can do more harm than doing any good finally we would like to mention a uh, one quotation from yasmin lari an architect or humanitarian worker from pakistan i feel that if somebody takes a village and just puts shelter and nothing else it doesn't really improve the lives of those people because they still remain deficient in so many ways i had to see how i can work in a manner that it should be sustainable because everybody talks about sustainability but in the end once the funds finish there is nothing more to go i mean everybody just wraps up and goes home what happens to the people nobody is really is bothered or cares because in the files it's all completed so what is social architecture to us uh, an investigative tool to find out the true needs of a community and together with the community members design a solution for those needs through co-creation process as a byproduct of this process equipping the community members with tools and skills to organize analyze find and map out their own solutions thank you